Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a quick little video for you. I basically did a Cyber Monday haul from e.l.f. Everything, literally everything on the store was 50% off, which was pretty freaking epic if I do say so myself. I literally got so many products, probably like maybe even around 20 products all for under $50. I believe my final total was like around $43. So I had got everything in the mail today and I wanted to do like a first impressions, first time use experience with all the products that I got. And so that's what I did today. I came up with this like tutorial kind of on the fly while I was filming using all of the products for the very first time. I will say right now that this foundation has become like my favorite foundation. I absolutely love it. Like you'll see my face in the video. My reaction to this foundation was like, it was so nice. I don't know how I figured out the, um, the shade for it to match me perfectly, but it actually like matched the, like the rest of my body. I love it. It's called the age fighting foundation. And the shade that I have mine in is beige. So you guys will see me putting this on for the first time. Also, I used this eyeshadow palette, which was pretty cool. I really liked the three colors I used. I only used three colors. Definitely going to get a lot more use out of this, though. They were very pigmented. And then the other thing I wanted to show you guys that I really, really liked was this blush palette. They have two different ones. The one that I have mine and that I used, I got both, but I used this one in light for today's video and it was awesome. I love that you have different colors to choose from. It reminds me sort of like the NARS palette. Oh, one more thing. I'm sorry guys, I'm like going crazy with all this e.l.f. stuff. I really like all the stuff that I got. But this is the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder. I used this underneath of my eyes today. Oh, there goes the sponge. And this reminds me a lot of the Too Faced... Um, what is it? It's like a... Ugh, I'm just gonna get it. I can't remember what it's called. But I use it every single day. Like, I am obsessed with this stuff. And I'm so happy I finally found a cheaper version. This is the Too Faced Cocoa Powder Foundation. It's a antioxidant-rich matte rose petal finish. It basically mattifies the skin in the same way that this, this does. It looks exactly the same on the skin. Gives you that like soft finish, soft focus finish, and yeah, I'm so happy I actually found a cheaper alternative to this one right here because I really was using it every single day. So yeah, lots of new stuff that I used. I did have three products in the video that were not e.l.f. related. They were, it was something from Rimmel, something from Maybelline, and something from L'Oreal because I happened to not pick those things up. It's like a concealer, an eyebrow pencil, and then some mascara when I was shopping on e.l.f. But anyways, I hopefully, I hopefully... <laughs> Anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Before we get into this tutorial, let me just start off apologizing for two things. One being that my intro was incredibly long, and two <laughs> being that my ring light was pretty bright for the beginning of this video. But nonetheless, we're going to get into this makeup tutorial. I am first starting off with the e.l.f. Mineral Primer, which I really, really liked. It was actually my first time using it. And then I went ahead and applied my foundation. This is the Acne Fighting Foundation. You can see my face. I was like, oh my gosh, because it actually matched my, um, my body perfectly. My skin, my face is really white. I do self-tan with a um, spray tan. It's like a spray. You spray it on the mitt and then you rub it on your body. <laughs> and... So my body was looking a little tanner than usual and this actually matches my tan, which I really like. So I can use this when I self tan. So yeah, loved it and I think it covered everything really well. I've been wearing it for like the past week since I recorded this video and I've definitely noticed that it helps the acne to go away for sure. Like it diminishes it, makes it smaller in size and helps it to go away faster. I really, really liked the consistency of the formula as well. It's um, thicker but it doesn't feel super heavy on your face. Next, I went in with the e.l.f. Mineral Primer for the eyes. And I've used this before, but this is a new one that I decided to use because my other one ran out. And I do like this a lot. And I'm just gently blending this onto my eyelid. And this will basically help the eyeshadows to last longer. All right, so this is a really cool new holiday palette from e.l.f. Lots of awesome eyeshadows in here. I decided to go for like a more sparkly pink look today. Something just very simple that you guys could easily do on an everyday basis. I really, really liked the way that this turned out. This was all on the fly, by the way. I had no plan. 
or anything. I just started winging it and putting eyeshadows on my eyes, which usually turns out a disaster, but today it was actually pretty good. So I'm just using a flat shader brush and applying this very light shimmery pink to my entire lid. And then here I'm going in with a darker pink shade from the palette with a slightly angled brush. And I'm just gently applying this to the outer corner of my eye area in a V shape just to help give the eye some more dimension. One thing I did notice while I was applying the second eyeshadow is that these eyeshadows from this palette actually blend in really, really well together. And I was very surprised and I'm very happy with how pigmented these two colors were. All right, and here I'm going in with a bigger blending brush. This one's just super fluffy so that I can blend out everything that we applied. You don't want any harsh lines or anything like that. This is just a Makeup Geek blending brush that I'm using, or you could even use your fingers like I just did there. Totally up to you, but these eyeshadows are great because they do blend out very, very nicely. Next, I'm taking this shimmery brown shade with a smudger, br smudger brush, <laughs> and I'm applying this directly to the lashes, like right above them on that lash line. And this is going to give your eye a little bit more definition, especially um, when you look up that's like the biggest thing because I feel like it really helps to make the lashes look more volumized when you darken the base so we're just doing that applying this very lightly small short strokes from the inner corner all the way to the outer corner and I love this smudging effect you don't have to use eyeliner or anything like that because the eyeshadow itself is already dark enough and it just looks more on the natural side and then here I am going in my eyebrows with the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Sculptor in Brunette. This is my favorite way of putting my eyebrows on. I love this thing so much. I know it's not an e.l.f. product, but I would highly recommend it to you guys. And then I just used a little brush on the other end to um, brush out the inner corners. All right, then I'm going in with a little bit of concealer. This is Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. I think this is like one of the lightest shades. It could be called either fair or light. I can't remember which one. I'm using my brush to blend it out and also my fingertip just very lightly in the inner corner to help blend out this concealer. But this is just going to highlight the center of the face. Next, I'm going back in with that dark brown shade from the palette and the smudger brush, and I am lining my lower lash line with this eyeshadow. Again, this is just going to help provide some more definition to um, the overall eye look. So then I'm going in with a little bit of mascara just on the lower lashes because I do have lash extensions on my top lashes so I won't be putting mascara there. And that was the Rimmel Lash Accelerator, one of my favorites for the lower lash line. Here I'm using for the very first time the e.l.f. Translucent Mattifying Powder and I am applying this right to where I applied the concealer. So just underneath of the eye area to help get rid of any shine or oiliness. And I really liked this because I feel like it just softens the skin. It kind of reminds me of the um, Too Faced Cocoa Foundation like I said in the intro of this video. And I think it's awesome. I've, I've been using it every single day since this video. I really like it. So then I'm going in with the blush and bronzer contour palette. I can't remember exactly what it's called from e.l.f., but it has like this awesome shade in there that works great as a bronzer. It reminds me of the Hoola bronzer from Benefit, obviously much more cheaper. And I'm just um, applying this to my cheekbones, my nose, my chin, and my forehead for a little bit of color to the face. And then I'm going in with a blush brush. I couldn't decide which color I wanted to use at first. I'm like, oh my gosh, all these are so pretty, but I ended up going with this one here. And I'm just applying this very lightly to the apples of my cheeks and then blending it upwards. Sorry, my brush is so dirty. I don't know why I chose to use this one. <laughs> but surprisingly, I was like really happy. I kept smiling this whole video. But surprisingly, this blush, like all the blushes in this palette are crazy pigmented. So you have to be like super light hand with it or it'll go like all over your face. This is the e.l.f. lipstick. I can't remember the exact shade that this was in, but it's so pretty. It is a light pink with shimmer in it. I thought it went really well with the eyeshadows, and I'm a big fan of pink lipsticks, and I think it looks, this shade would look great on anybody. I love pink. You can't go wrong with pink. I will put the uh, name of this down in the description below because I totally forgot. So there's the lipstick. Then I went in with this lip gloss from e.l.f. and realized as I was pulling it out that it was broken. I was like, no. I was so sad my heart was broken because I wanted to use it so badly. But I ended up using a different one instead. Luckily, I got like 
three or four of these lip glosses in different shades and I really like the way that this one turned out anyway so maybe it was a good thing that that one was broken this is just basically the exact same color as the lipstick except in lip gloss form just gives a little bit of shine to the lips I think it just finish, finishes them off really nicely so that's it for the video guys, hopefully you enjoyed this makeup tutorial, very simple, very everyday. I apologize for using those three non-elf products, but I forgot to get those things on the website when I was shopping, but ultimately love every single thing that I got. I am so excited about all these things. I got more stuff too! Look at this, I have all this stuff in this bag that I haven't tried yet, but hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!